Hello guys, welcome to FGeek Aviation. Today we are going to discuss what caused the crash of Lion Air Flight JT610 and how did it actually crash and what led to its crash. So we are gonna start with the aircraft and as you can see the aircraft registration was PKLQP and it it's also known as the tail tail number PKLQP so it was a Boeing 737 MAX 8 well MAX is a series of uh, airplanes manufactured by Boeing it's a subtype of 737 and it's a really modern type aircraft and it also com completed its all the tests and was was declared fit to fly and then it flew from the Boeing airfield to Indonesia. So now let's head to the flight radar 24 data. So guys this is the flight path of JT610. As you can see that the flight path is not complete which probably means that it crashed into the sea. So now we are going to play this and we are going to mark four points on its flight path as point A, point B, point C and point D and then I'm gonna explain it to you. So this is point A this is point B this is point C and this is point D so starting from point A so now let's play the video as you can see it has took off and so this is was this was point A at point A you can see that it took off and it has a speed of 327 knots the altitude is also fine it is starting to take our left turn a few minutes after takeoff and it's going uh, fine its altitude is increasing uh, its altitude is increasing and the speed is also increasing now if you play more then you can see that the altitude is not increasing anymore its stack is at 5350 feet and the speed is 289 knots and around 4 minutes after takeoff this has happened so let's play it more so at this you can see still it's holding at 5225 feet and then let's play more so this was point B this is point B which I marked earlier you can see that the altitude is 5100 feet and the speed is 319 knots this was marked as point B because at this point the pilot told the air traffic controllers that he is now returning to the airport due to some technical issues as uh, by the given data of, uh, from some websites so he is holding at 5100 feet and he is told to land at the runway and is clear to land so but something goes wrong again and the pilot takes his plane towards right but he is still holding at 5000 feet and 308 knots is the speed of the aircraft which is still increasing so this is point C now this is point C because now the aircraft is out of the control of pilot you can see that it has switched off its autopilot and the altitude is decreasing and speed is almost the same now 
you can see the altitude has dropped more and the speed has a bit increased now the plane is in control again at 5450 feet but it's also possible that the pilot took the plane a bit higher but still it was in no control now this is not marked as point D so the point D actually means that it experienced a nose dive suddenly at this point the speed you can see it's about 322 knots which is really high and very unsuitable at this altitude so now this is the final moment of the flight that was recorded by the flight radar 24 website so the speed is 345 knots and the altitude is 3650 which means the altitude decrease very fast and the speed is increasing 345 knots is generally the cruising speed of this aircraft around this speed is very suitable around uh, 30,000 feet and more but at 3650 feet this speed is really unsuitable so you can see that at this point it lost control and after traveling a bit it finally ended in a nose dive so we conclude that at this point the pilot last contacted the air traffic controllers and after this he had no control of this aircraft which resulted in a nose dive now let's come to another possible reason of crash that is the plane would have been hijacked but unfortunately this is wrong the plane if the plane would have been hijacked it's correct that its flight path was deviated and it was different than the original one but it wasn't hijacked because if it would have been hijacked then the pilot would not ha would not have hold the altitude at 5000 feet and secondly they would not have been contacted uh, contacting the air traffic controllers which the pilots did they contacted the air traffic controllers and told they had a technical problem not a hijacking in progress and if the plane was hijacked so they're assigned a special code which is known as 7500 this is a special code assigned by the air traffic controllers to the aircraft which is hijacked so or in general emergencies this code is 7700 but none of these codes were given by the pilot so he was the pilot of the flight JT610 that crashed into the Java Sea near the capital of Indonesia he's a very experienced pilot which states uh, which clarifies that he cannot do uh, a mistake which could lead to a disaster just after takeoff this is not supposed to be a, a pilot error because this pilot was highly trained and highly qualified and he knew all the systems of this aircraft and was flying this aircraft from a long time so pilot error is highly highly impossible so we are here to conclude the crash the the reason which caused the crash of flight JT610 so we conclude that pilot error and hijacking was not the cause
instead is more probably the flight would have crashed because of instrumental error it could have been an error of pitch of the aircraft it could have been some of the internal functions not working it could have been flaps but not hijacking and pilot error and the air traffic controllers didn't assign him assign the aircraft and squawk code 7700 and the pilot didn't even call for mayday which means that the aircraft is in distress so it happened really quickly and it was a really bad incident that happened and all 189 people on board just uh, went down with the plane so we hope that once the flight data recorder is covered we can have the information that what actually caused and what did the pilots do when they were experience when they were experiencing that situation so thanks for reading, watching this video and if you have any comments or would like to suggest uh, something so you you are appreciated to and Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thanks.